Hi, I'm Jeff here with Remote Geosystems, and we wanted to give you a first look at the brand new GeoDVR Mini, or Geospatial Digital Video Recorder Mini Edition. Uh, this is much smaller uh, than our traditional Gen 2 uh, GeoDVR platform. It comes in at about a kilogram and a half uh, with the unit itself, the chassis itself. It's a one-channel system, easily hooks up to a touchscreen monitor, as you see here. Uh, so we can get a live view of what's going on with the camera. Uh, obviously, GeoDVRs are intended to be onboard uh, moving platforms, uh, as opposed to here set up in an office. Uh, but for the sake of illustration, we wanted to show you everything kind of plugged in in a, in a clutter-free environment, I guess. Uh, so uh, with the GeoDVR uh, Mini, like the GeoDVR Gen 2, we have our, our start-stop button and our waypoint uh, trigger. So we to start recording with the system we simply click the red button. You may have heard uh, through the speaker it says recording has started. We'll periodically give you a verbal update that the recording is still in progress. You can turn that off if you want. When video is recording there's a good GPS signal. Um, we have uh, green indicators here uh, from the left to right. Uh, GPS detected, the GPS fix number, uh, is the video channel detected and then is the video actually being recorded. Here we have a system output window uh, and of course the video viewer window. There's some menu options across the top whereby uh, you can do some configurations and things like that but once you have the system set up you save your configurations as default and usually each time you boot up the GeoDVR Mini you'll go back to your, your default settings. Obviously you can change those if you need to. So this is just a common way uh, Folks might have it set up with a large video window and then uh, a smaller uh, window for just system output, but that could be hidden as well, and you get the full uh, video window here. Recording. The GeoDVR Mini, similar to the GeoDVR Gen 2, uses a BNC camera. Uh, we include, typically with the kit, uh, one of these uh, bullet cameras as you see here. Um, the GeoDVR also has the ability, if a camera is disconnected, it'll give you a warning uh, as such. I uh, might be able to hear it here, I'm not sure, but I'm going to disconnect it just to show you. Warning. The camera signal seems to have been lost. And it has. Recording. So we'll put that back together and it begins recording again. Uh, we covered this a little bit as far as the start stop button goes. Uh, just to be sure though, again, if we want to drop a waypoint, we press the blue button. Waypoint created. You can also, through the, if you have a touchscreen monitor connected to the GeoDVR Mini, use the start, recording start stop recording button there. Recording started. And also drop a waypoint there as well. Waypoint created. Um, and with the GeoDVR kit, in addition to, or the GeoDVR Mini kit, in addition to the camera, you get a, G, um, a Garmin GPS uh, receiver antenna, which is plugged in here. We've got it over by the window now so that we get a good GPS signal for the demonstration here, so we won't be moving that. Um, and um, on the back of the GeoDVR here, uh, we have the BNC input from the camera, uh, the HDMI input from the monitor, the uh, mouse input to the monitor so that you can utilize the touch screen and then of course the power input. On the front of the GeoDVR uh, we have several USB ports uh, any of which you can use and in this case we've got the waypoint uh, trigger as well as the start stop switch connected in there and then again the Garmin GPS. So that's a quick look at the uh, GeoDVR Mini uh, we'll have some more videos to come here shortly, but just wanted to give you a quick look at what we have coming down the road. Thanks.